In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up your website using Nitro Pack. It's super simple and it works really well. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. The site we're going to use as an example today, we've used many times on this channel, rvingwithfamily.com. This is a functioning, money-making website. I have been putting a lot of content on here lately. If you watched a previous video from a long time ago, you see the same content there. So I'm not adding content currently. I still plan to in the future, but there's only so much time and money to go around these days. But it's a fully functioning website. You click in any one of these posts, it's an actual post with actual content. It gets actual visitors. It's important to have these sites go fast. So in that vein, I went to PageSpeed Insights, pasted in the domain name, and this is what we got. No speed up plugins currently installed. Mobile performance, lackluster. Desktop performance actually isn't that bad, but still could be greatly improved. And this is hosted on SiteGround, this website currently. Just a regular um, grow big package, uh, the, the, the middle package of SiteGround, whatever that's called. And we want to make this faster. To make it faster, we're going to use Nitro Pack in this video. And Nitro Pack is great. I've been using it for years on lots of websites. And there's a lot of people in the comments generally who say that Nitro Pack kills your Google rankings or Google doesn't like Nitro Pack and the way it manipulates Google or something and you're going to get slapped as in your site's going to lose rankings. That has not been my experience. Neither of those have been my experience in the past and in the present. And something else is if you go to the Nitro Pack website, which we'll look more at in just a minute, they recently, as in just a month ago, had a joint webinar with Google. And it's a gentleman from Google named Salvatore Denaro, and he actually works at Google. I found him on LinkedIn. He is an actual Googler since 2018, based out of New York. So Google is doing webinars with NitroPack, and they're talking about core web vitals, WordPress, and practical steps for excellent site performance. So there's a chance that uh, Google does not like NitroPack, and Salvatore doesn't know that. And so he hopped on a webinar with them and talked about Core Web Vitals and speeding up your site and stuff. But that's unlikely. It's more likely that Nitro Pack works just fine, which has been my experience with Nitro Pack. And Google is also working with them or at least promoting uh, web optimization concepts with them on Google's platform and on Nitro Pack's platform. So take what you will. My experience has been great with Nitro Pack. Today we're going to use the free account. Let's check out the pricing. Go to the pricing tab and we see here if we pay yearly, these are the amounts we pay in Canadian dollars, much cheaper in American dollars. And that's is for one website. First one's 50,000 page views, 25 gigabytes of CDN, and each higher package provides more page views and more CDN. If you pay monthly, prices go up, but same concept for the websites. You also can check out the free plan, which is right here. It's free forever, no credit card required, and once it stops working once you go past the 5,000 page views or one gigabyte of CDN, your website still functions just fine. So it's not being optimized through Nitro Pack. And so for the remainder of the month, say you get that 6,000 page views in a month, for the last 1,000 page views in that month, your site speed will be slower because Nitro Pack is not speeding it up. There's also going to be a Nitro Pack badge at the bottom of the website. So to add your website, just type it in here. Give it a name, give it a URL, and then when you click on Add Site, you'll have your account created. You have to make a username and password as well. I've already done that. I'm going to click on Dashboard up here, and once you're signed in to your free NitroPack account, your dashboard is going to look a lot like this. Everything's going to be zero because you have nothing going on. You don't have the plugin installed, not optimizing, not anything. You're going to have a message like this that says subscription expired or was not renewed. Don't worry about that because your subscription is free. So. Just ignore that message. We're going to go through all these tabs up here, or a lot of the important ones. Building's not super important for this video, but we're going to go through most of these tabs up here and talk about how they help you make your sites faster. The very first tab we're going to look at is the Connect Your Website tab, because before we do that, nothing happens. Here we have our site name and site URL, which we entered in the form just a moment ago. Then we have a site ID and a site secret. These are what we're going to need to connect our website to Nitro Pack. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. 
And if you're not using WordPress, they also have the ability to connect to different platforms via SDK and APIs. So you can browse the downloads. Let's just check this out and see what else you can connect to. So we've got WordPress here, Nitro Pack for OpenCart, WooCommerce, Magento, and you can create your own connections with the SDK and the API. So we're gonna use this on WordPress, as you might have guessed. So let's go to our website. Let's actually just put this tab into here so it's all in one place. Go into our website here, go to the dashboard, then go to plugins and add new. Look up Nitro Pack. This is what we want right here. Over 100,000 active installs, 225 reviews, four and a half stars, updated a week ago and compatible with the current version of WordPress. This section right here is very important when installing new plugins. That's why I go over it in almost every video because you want to make sure that the plugin has been updated because sometimes plugins that are way out of date can cause problems on your site. And no matter which plugin you install, you should back up your site first. You can revert to the backup. I have a tutorial in the description down below if you need help with that. Either way, back up your site first. Click on install now when you're ready. Then click on activate. And then once it's activated, we'll have a new option under settings called Nitro Pack. Click on that to open the page where we're gonna connect. So let's click on connect. If you have, or if this doesn't work, click on connect, you can enter your details manually. I'm gonna show you this now because once we connect, the screen's gonna be gone. Entering your details manually is gonna require you to enter the site ID and site secret from inside of the Connect Your Website tab in your Nitro Pack account. So if you've got to do it manually, this is what you do. And this warning that we saw earlier at the stop, top of the plugins is appearing right here. That's pretty funny. And I want to now not do this manually. Let's see if we can get back out of that manual option. There we go. Connect to Nitro Pack. This is gonna walk us through a connection with our Nitro Pack account. And since we're logged into Nitro Pack, it makes it super simple. If you're not logged in, it'll be asking you to log in at this point. So pick the website you want to connect, which is the website that you're currently in. You don't want to be in rvwithfamily.com and then connect wplearninglab.com because that would be confusing, wouldn't make sense. So you want to make sure you're connecting the right website to the right account inside Nitro Pack. Click on connect when you're ready, and now it's going to connect it. I'm going to pause this video. It should just take a few seconds, but I'll pause the video and I'll be back in just a second. And I'm back already. As soon as I paused it, it was done. And now we are connected. This page here is gonna show us a bunch of information about our setup. The most important ones to start out with are the optimization modes down here. So you can pick the strength of optimization. So if you want the best predefined optimization to make your website load the fastest possible, you choose Ludicrous which was auto-selected for me here, which I think was my previous setting anyway. And what this does, this ludicrous specifically, you can look up what the specifications are for those different setting levels. If we go to the settings tab and we're on ludicrous mode right now, it shows here in this list what exactly is being optimized. You can read through all these. As you can tell, there's a lot going on and we're on the wrong one. Let's go to RVing with family. Make sure in the correct tab inside Nitro Pack when you go into the settings. Uh, so settings for RVing with family. The list is still the same. Which ones are turned off and on might vary. But this is what it does in ludicrous mode. And then there's also integrations over here, which you can integrate if you want to. We haven't done that currently. But if you go to standard mode, it has the same list that we saw earlier, just different things are selected on the right-hand side. So if you want to do it manually, you want to pick and choose, you can go to manual and pick and choose whatever settings you want, if you know what you're doing, whatever settings you want to optimize your site. On ludicrous mode, it has the most aggressive settings for speeding up your site. What that can cause, though, is problems on the front end of your website, like images not loading, CSS not loading properly, um, pages just not working. And that's because of certain ways things are optimized, like minifying JavaScript or minifying CSS, sometimes I can break stuff. So if you set it to ludicrous mode, and then you have pages that are cached, which are pages that Nitro Pack has optimized, check out those pages and make sure they're not broken. If they are broken, then you come back to the optimization mode, go down to strong instead of ludicrous, and then let the pages regenerate you can purge the cache and have them regenerate or re-optimize under the strong settings. If that still breaks things, go to medium. If that still breaks things, go to standard. If that still breaks things, 
don't use Nitro Pack, or use Manual, where you can go in and manually define exactly what's going on. And usually it's, let me see if I can find it in here. Usually it's minifying CSS, minify HTML, minify JSON, I don't see minify CSS on here currently, but usually minifying CSS and JavaScript for, for me in past experience has caused the most problems with websites. You turn those options off and then they work. And if you go to the manual section, where I was saying you turn things on and off, go to advanced settings. I just found this, minify resources. Enable or disable minification of JavaScript, CSS, and HTML resources. So if you find your pages are not working properly, I found turning this off fixes it 90% of the time. That's just my experience. Everybody has different experiences, but that's just what has happened to me in the past. And so now that we have our website optimized, let's see if we can find out which pages are optimized here on the cache status page. This will show us information about our cache pages. We currently have two optimized URLs. We have way more URLs on that website. Let's see how many we have in total. There's a few pages like privacy policy, homepage. Most of the content is on the, the posts area and there's 43 posts on the site. So eventually this will work through and optimize all those 43. Currently we have two URLs, which is the same URL. They're both the homepage and they're both optimized. And that's a good start because we want those pages optimized for sure. Here we show, or we have total cache size, gives us information about what's being cached and how big it is. And a feature that was recently added is the fonts cache which is for caching web fonts to help those load faster. Not many uh, companies offer that service, caching fonts. If you change the settings at all and you want to purge the cache or if you're trying different things, you want to purge the cache to have NitroPack recache the pages so you can speed test them, you can come in here and just purge all cache and then click OK. This is in the NitroPack dashboard. Then it's going to recache and reoptimize your pages based on the new settings. And you can also get to there on this page, purge cache, and it's gonna redo the work it did. So after you purge, to make sure your pages are gonna be re-optimized, you have to go to the cache warmup tab right over here. And this is where you can set it to automatically re-optimize purged and invalidated pages. So turn that on so that your pages after they've been purged are re-optimized, which is what we want. And you can also add a sitemap for easier caching faster caching by Nitro Pack because I can see all your pages in one big list. That's part of a page subscription, but that's a pretty cool option to have. And now we have cache warmup turned on because we turn this on. Click on save to make sure you save those changes or those settings. And now anytime we purge any pages like we did just now over here, they will be re-optimized by Nitro Pack. So while it's working on that, let's check out some other tabs. We've checked out the dashboard, connect your website, cache status, settings, cache warmup. Now we have the logs. Let's click on logs. And here we have what has been happening. Essentially, it's a log of all the actions that have been taken. So here it shows that we tag create. It must be an internal thing. Not sure what that is. Optimization started, tag create again, tag create again. These are for the home page on desktop and mobile. Optimization started for desktop version and mobile version. And then those finished. It, didn't, it doesn't have a tag for optimization finished, but it has a tag for purge and invalidate, which is what we did a few moments ago. Reason, full purge via the dashboard. Sometimes Nitro Pack purges cache pages as well if they've been outdated, and that would show up as the reason here, presumably. And the way we can actually customize that, let's go back to settings, and let's go down to, let's go over to manual and advanced settings. On this very first option here, it allows us to adjust page cache expiration time. This is when the cache page expires. You always want to have one of these because if you make changes to your page and nobody notices, Nitro Pack doesn't notice, you don't notice, you don't purge the, the pages manually and the cache never expires, those changes might never actually appear on the cached version of your page and nobody's ever going to see them. So if you make changes periodically, you're going to want to have your expiration time shorter. Nitro Pack usually does notice when changes are made, especially on blog posts. If we go into the posts and go to edit, I believe there's a Nitro Pack meta box. There it is right here. 
When you edit a blog post and update it, NitroPack is going to be automatically notified that a change happened and it's going to update the cache on their end to make sure that the new content is available and being cached on your site. If that doesn't happen automatically, you can go to this meta box here and you either choose invalidate cache or purge cache. And this purge applies only to the posts that you click these buttons on. So invalidate means that the page optimization is marked as stale but the page will still be served. The optimized version will still be served to new visitors until the new optimized version is cached by NitroPack. And so there might be a period of time where you make changes to a blog post and then save. And if you chose invalidate cache, there's gonna be a period of time where they're still seeing the old content before the new content is optimized. But the old content they're seeing is an optimized page, so it still goes fast. Purge cache, on the other hand, deletes the optimized page from NitroPack. And so as soon as you click that, it's going to now be serving the latest version of this post, but it won't be optimized for speed. So as part of your process, you have to decide whether you want to invalidate cache, which means they might not see the newly optimized content as quickly, or purge the cache, which means they're going to see the new content right away, but it's not going to be optimized. That's probably more important for news sites and time-sensitive information, whereas the invalidate if you just make an update to some spelling mistakes on a page that aren't a huge deal, you can probably invalidate and just wait for NitroPack to do its thing. So after that little aside, let's go back into here, dashboard, NitroPack dashboard, and keep talking about the expiration time. The expiration time affects, again, how long a page stays optimized before it's refreshed. And let's see how long this is. 86,400 seconds is one day, and this is, paste that in there, 30 days. That's the default setting. The cache expiration time is 30 days. Stale cache expiration time is 300 seconds. And this refers to invalidated pages. So we spoke a moment ago how there's a, going to be a time delay. It's going to show the old content that's still optimized and the new content is going to be optimized and then replace the old invalidated page. And this setting here denotes how long an invalidated page's content is still served. 300 seconds, which is like five minutes or close to that. And so these settings are rather important. You can just leave them as default though. You don't have to change them at all. And we saw the, the log tab where we see what's going on. We only saw this page though. There's also a resource usage. So on the free plan, definitely, or any paid plan really, you can see your usage compared to what your plan allows. It doesn't show on here at the moment what, um, what, what the free plan allows, but it will show how much you've used. You gotta just refer back to what the free plan is, which is a thousand page views and one gigabyte CDN per month, both of those per month. And as I mentioned earlier, if you exceed those limits, that doesn't mean that your website stops working. It just means you, the optimized versions aren't being displayed. And so your site might be a little bit slower for the remainder of the month until the next month when those numbers reset and then your visitors will be served the fast website again. Connector history, here it shows the NitroPack plugin specifically being installed, disconnected, updated, and when that was all done. There's the billing tab where you can add your billing info if you want to upgrade, your account tab, your affiliate tab where you can promote NitroPack to your clients or your friends or your mom or whoever you like. And that's really all there is. There's a help center, which is also important. I find their help via email is very responsive. Their knowledge base is quite thorough. Click on help down here. Let's see what this is. Install NitroPack. See if we get options for chat or something. Contact us. Technical assistance. So it sends an email, at least for the technical assistance one, it sends an email. There might be an option here where you get live chat or even a phone number, but I'm not sure about that. So don't quote me on that but I have found the email to be very responsive. They've got a team of customer service reps to reply to and help you with your issues. So I've had a lot of um, good experiences with their customer service. So let's go back to cache status and see if our pages are cached. Nothing yet. Let's hard refresh. I'm just gonna pause this video while I wait for the homepage to cache. And then we'll see finally what the new site speed is for the pages cached by NitroPack. I was just poking around to see if I can encourage NitroPack to cache pages, and I think I discovered that we can disconnect right here. This is inside of the WordPress dashboard under settings and NitroPack. Click on disconnect, disconnect again, and now we're gonna go back to this page. Click on connect NitroPack, reconnect the site, 
and then it's going to start caching pages again immediately. By purging, like we did earlier, they will cache eventually. But if you're in a hurry and you want it done right now, I think the disconnect option works pretty well for that. And also down here, you can select which pages and post types get optimized. Click on this little gear icon and you can choose whatever you want or don't want to have optimized right in this list right here. Just click on this to turn them off and on. Click on save changes and then those pages and page types will be optimized and whatever ones you turn off won't be. And this option right here is basically saying if it's turned on, it's going to automatically purge content when you update the content. I was saying earlier when we were working in the blog post over here where we saw the invalidate and purge cache options that maybe you have to choose one. It not going to do it automatically, but in fact they do. So you click on update and they can take care of everything in the background. And what, we, what I did just now where we disconnected and reconnected, I was just forcing it to do it faster because I'm making a video here. I don't have all day. But maybe you do have all day and you can wait for the, the cache and the, and the optimization to happen over time, which is just going to be a little while. It's not going to be days or, or weeks or even hours, but it's going to happen in short order after you purge, but it just takes a bit of time, whereas I don't want to spend that time. And now that we forced it, we have our cache pages, two of them. Why it says 60 minutes ago, I'm not sure because it happened just now. Let's go back into the dashboard, cache status, refresh this, and it shows our two most important pages, homepage desktop, homepage mobile is optimized. All the other pages will be optimized as time goes on, as I was saying. And somehow, it's a bigger file size now. That's interesting, right? I didn't change anything as far as I know. Anyway, bigger file size. And now let's go and copy the URL and see how fast this site goes. The results are in. Mobile, up to 90. Desktop, 98. It's a huge improvement on what we had. Previously, it was 27 for mobile and 78 for desktop. So across the board, we're faster with Nitro Pack installed. There are still some improvements to be made. If you scroll down here, we see a list of opportunities down at the bottom. There'll be opportunities for mobile as well. And for desktop, everything's in the green. We see on the very second screenshot, we see something loading, which is very important. All these numbers, like the 98 and the 90 for mobile, I feel like those are very much for your ego. I got 98 on PageSpeed Insights. You know what? Your visitors don't care. Your visitors care about how fast the page loads. So even if you don't have 98 or 90 or 80, what I think personally, what I think visitors care about is how long it takes to see something on the page. In this case, the second screenshot. I don't know how much time that is, but it's not very much. If 0.7 or I guess uh, 1.3 seconds, you know what, I don't know. I don't know how long all these screenshots are taken across, how much that time frame is. Maybe it's on here, tree map. Anyway, your visitors wanna see something happening as soon as possible, otherwise they're gonna bounce. If something's happening on the very second screenshot, that's amazing. And I think people are gonna stick around to see what's gonna load. And if we head back to mobile, we see the stats are a little bit slower than desktop. I find that's pretty much always how it is across the board. And I think that's because they actually slow down the load time. So if I go back to desktop here, it shows here custom throttling. And on mobile, it shows slow 4G throttling. So they're trying to emulate a cell phone connection. And stuff just is going to be slower compared to most people's desktop at home Wi-Fi connections. So all the numbers we see are a little bit larger than the, than the desktop, but it still loads super fast. And at the very bottom here, we have on the second screenshot, we again have something loading. And that's what visitors want. I think, to reiterate, they don't care about these numbers up here. They don't care that you got a 90 on mobile. All they care about is they come to your site and they see something happening. They want to feel like the page is loading, otherwise they're gonna bounce. If they start seeing things load, they're willing to wait a little bit longer. Maybe someone's willing to wait three seconds once they tap on a page. If nothing's happening within those three seconds, they bounce. But if something happens after those three seconds, even at the three second mark, they'll be like, oh, something's happening, I'll wait a little bit longer. And so every time 
they see something happening, as in these screenshots down here, they will stay longer. And so I find that's the most important thing. How long it takes for something to happen on your screen, and then hopefully the next things that happen are also very fast after that. And so screenshots down here, in my opinion, are very important. These numbers that you see here are very important as well. It's not that they're worthless, but from a user's standpoint, they don't really care. These numbers do help us diagnose problems that we can address, but the viewer, the visitor, really just wants stuff to load quickly. So NitroPack has really improved our site speed in this example. Now, when you install this on your site, your results might not be the exact same. They might be worse, they might be better, but it's worth trying it out. And so I encourage you to click the link in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. Check out NitroPack, install the free plan, see if it works. Again, to get the free plan, go to pricing and click on free plan right down here. See if it works. And if you end up having it work and you end up subscribing to one of their paid plans, I do get a commission for that because you went through my affiliate link. I really appreciate it. It does not make it more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos because NitroPack sends me a percentage of what you're paying to them. So it's not more expensive for you, but it helps me keep making these videos and feed my kids. And I really appreciate that. So check out NitroPack and see what it can do for you. Next up, check out this video right here, which shows you other ways to speed up your site. If you want a fast site, check that out. And here's a whole playlist of website speed up videos. So make sure you check that out too. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss new future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it. And I'll see you in the next video.